Today on review, we are looking at Azure Wrap for the PlayStation 3, also available on the Xbox 360. Azure Wrap is a very interesting title. It's pretty much what will happen when you mix anime with a video game. And of course, being developed by CyberConnect, which some of you might know from the Naruto Shippuden and Naruto video game, and brings such detail of the fantastic cell shading anime look perfectly to this overall. But over on the story side, of course, you play as Zora, a demigod who pretty much be outcast by your fellow demigods and your daughter is being took capture and over a couple of centuries and millions of years and whatnot you will come to try to take revenge upon everybody who have exiled you to wreck your daughter and to save the planet Gaia. But that pretty much the basis that you will get overall on the story. The story do not pick up to near the end and any by the end it might seem to get kind of stale and fall into many trapping that anime have fallen into mainly in anime. With the gameplay itself, it made up of cutscenes, more cutscenes, some arena battle, some quick time events, and now one on one battle. The only real issue here is it's not that much of a game. You're looking at about 80% video and 10% fighting, and then overall the way it's just button combinations of quick time events. A quick time event pretty much for everything, so you can't really put down your controller for this. And the overall stats and unlockable and your goal will be linked to how you do with the quick time event. With many, many of them, it doesn't really matter if you do them or don't do them. If you actually do in the score, they will be time based and if you put them in the perfect synchronization to Apple, Avant, Good, and so on, you will get more points at the end of each level. But here we are into the level which each level is only a few minutes long and they play it exactly as an anime. You will get a intro video and then you will get ending credits and a bumper in between or eye catchers and the ending you will get a synopsis of what's gonna happen in that level. That play perfectly into the anime style and if you like shonen anime you will adore how this is overall portrayed. But sadly it's too bad it's not really more game here. Cause the combat is fun mainly on one on one battle but in arena modes not so much. Cause the, how the combat play out is you don't really play to beat enemy by how much health they get. Of course Azura have the ability to gather wage which you gather wage by doing combos with anyone you're fighting might it be from doing heavy attack, medium attack, or long range attack. And when the Fury Gauge is built up, you will push R2 and you will unleash a fancy finisher to everyone on Queen and move along to the net cutscene slash fight. And it just nothing really here and not really about skill and more about just button combination that overall one button might get you to the end of the fight faster and by faster I mean like instead of a fight taking one minute it take two minutes type of deals depending on your skill level when it comes to that but it just it seemed deep to begin with but overall it's not really that deep actually in practice outside the tutorial but outside the fighting you of course will have on well shooting segment very similar to Fate Hellio of locking on and attacking. But sadly, it fairly stale for the most part. It tried to be epic, but at the end of the day, in some case, you're not even you know really what's going on or what you're shooting at to some of the ending levels. And then on the audio side is the core. The voice acting is good, more like caught the board. The problem is in the audio with the voice. They have audio, music, combat, voice all synchronized into one option which you cannot change with when you want louder or lower and that overall make a problem since many of the cutscenes you won't even be able to understand what is going on because the music are too loud and of course some of the storiness of it seem odd at best because in between episodes you will get cutscenes or oh, more up picture with a planning some backstory of what happening but and no voiceover for the but elite the artwork in the little scenes all fantastic and desire to actually be looked at so overall i give azor wrap for the playstation 3 a two out of five do not allow him to interfere any further he will ruin everything